Mathverse means mathematics and universe together Mathverse. Welcome to the first video of real analysis and today I'm going to talk about the properties of supremum and infimum. What are the supremum and infimum? What we should do with them and what they will do for us is all I'm going to talk in today's video. Now, in this series, I'm going to cover major portions of real analysis. Obviously, uh, one thing I should mention here, it is of BSc level, okay, Bachelor of Science level. Uh, don't expect me to post videos on major theory, which will obviously come, but after a few months. Now, let me finish this real analysis first. Now, today I shall talk about supremum and infimum of a set. Now, when I sell, when I when I when I uh, make a video on supremum and infimum, I assume that you have concepts of set and inter intersection, union, and all other basic set operations. You don't have any problem with that. And if you have, then please consult with some very good book, and especially those who are. Uh, from India who are watching this video from India I should tell them that uh, please follow the book of SK Mapa uh, we are this book by SK Mapa it is better than any other Indian author book uh, I obviously I'm not I'm not promoting this book but this is the book uh, I am grateful to I love this book I really love this book this book made me learn analysis and there is another book I'm saying Obviously not for this part, but for the later parts for sequence, especially for continuity. Because when I shall talk about continuity, obviously you all know this one, Bartley Shevard. These two books are just... See, if, if this is your very good starter, then this one is your very good dessert. Okay, now it is only starter. This is starter and main course, this one is dessert. Okay, unless you take a good dessert, your food is not complete. And then, uh, if you have completed these two books, then I should also, I shall obviously solve the problems of this one. This one is a monster. Kazanov, as a Russian author's book, uh, published by AMS, American Mathematical Society, and this book's problems are really monster. There are some problems which made me spend almost a week to solve them. There are some problems there, especially from limit continuity and these portions. Okay. So let's start today with supremum and infimum. Okay. Now, for today, I'm not going to explain that much of supremum and infimum theorems. I'm just going to give an idea of what are the supremum and infimum is what is actually the completeness property of real numbers and how to deal with them. The completeness property says for a subset S of the set of all real numbers R, if there is a number let be let be U belongs to R such that for all X belongs to S, that is for all the elements of X, if this one happens that x is less than or equal to sorry u is less than or equal to x that is x is either greater or less than u and this one is applicable for all the elements of s because i have given here for all so if this happens there is a number particular number u which is less than or equal to all elements of s then we will call it as lower bound okay right and or we say it we call this u as lower bound and we say that the set s is bounded below why bounded below because just see uh, this is my real number this is my real number positive side negative side here is zero imagine that s is my this portion my this portion is S. All the numbers here constitute the set S. Now, if I take a number from here, let it be U. And for any X belongs to here in this set, 
See, u is less than x. u is obviously less or equal to x. u can be less than, here u is obviously strictly less than, but it can also be equal to x. Like if we take this one, if I take u star, then obviously u star is equal to this particular point, right? Now, see, this is bounding. This is bounding the set from the left. Or we can say from the behind or from below okay likewise if for another or for this is only if there is one element t and for the t what happens for the t if for all x belongs to this s if t is greater or equal to x if this thing happen then we call t as upper bound upper bound and we say that S is bounded above what does it mean imagine here is one T and T is now greater than all elements of this this S set this is S set all elements of the T is greater than all elements of this S set then it means that T is bounding t is bounding or t is like working like a boundary wall t is a boundary wall for this and that's it right and it is bounding from front or from above like i have one definition i have one explanation here if you just imagine it in vertical way just give a 90 degree rotation what will happen t is bounding from above u is bounding from below right now, when a set has an upper bound, see, if, if a set has an upper bound, then it can have infinite number of upper bounds. Why? Because if t is an upper bound, then all the elements of real number from here onwards will be upper bounds of S. So, if a set has upper bound, then it is called bounded above. If a set has a lower bound, then it is called bounded below. If a set has both of them, then it is called a bounded set, right? Now, when I have talked about this bounded set, let me think about a boundary wall of a property, right? Imagine that you have a property, a square shaped property, right? Is a property. Here you cultivate, here you have made a villa here you have so many things here okay now i have this one this green line is the first boundary of first boundary of the property now if you have money and if you are stupid enough then you can make another boundary by purchasing some more land outside okay if you are more fool then you can make another one in this way you can make as many boundaries as you want okay until and unless you cover the entire art you cannot make after that because art is bounded okay but our real number is not actually bounded so here what i'm saying just for a, for a moment imagine that art is infinite or just imagine your this property is in space and space is infinite so you are making boundaries as many as you want now if imagine if someone is walking on this road okay here is a road crossing the entire property he is crossing here and now imagine another thing that uh, it is the origin is the origin point o and this one is four point this is four this is six this is eight and here it is 18 20 22 okay so in this road if suppose that someone is walking through this road someone is walking through this road now he cannot stay away from this road he have to maintain this road anyhow okay so when he is walking he will find four first then six then eight and then he will enter into the property now as as long as he is inside this property he is inside the set now imagine i am saying this 
8 to 18 as my set S. Okay, I am saying them as my set S. Now, as he exits from the property, as he exits from the property, he will first encounter, as when he is about to exit the property, he will first encounter 18, then 20, then 22. So the first boundary that he will encounter is 18, then second 20, and second 22. And if you have made another boundary here, he will then encounter that boundary also. Now just imagine, remove everything, forget everything, all the boundaries and everything, just forget. Just think it as a subset of the entire real line. Now, here, we had one boundary here, another boundary here, another boundary here. So many boundaries were there. But out of all those boundaries, see, you can obviously understand that these were all lower bounds, right? Now, for all these lower bounds, which is the greatest? In value, obviously, this is the lower bound number one, that is four, at, at the point four, at the point six, then, sorry, this one is not. Let it, let this one was two, four, six, and this one is eight. And then the property or the set S starts. Then which is the greatest of them? Greatest is eight. Keep this thing in mind. I can say this one as greatest lower bound because among all the lower bounds, this one is greatest. Greatest lower bound, obviously. Can be any bound lower bound greater than this one, this eight? Let us assume I am taking one element from here. Let it be 8.003. Let it be 8.003. But eight is it is inside the set and even if 8 was not inside the set in the next lecture I shall talk about the open set closed set if 8 was not inside the set then also was it the lower bound? obviously not because we had one thing that is this is greater than 8.0003 I have two zeros here I have three zeros here okay so none other than 8 in the right side of 8 can be the low, lower bound so 8 is greatest of them now when lower bounds are special but which is greatest of all of them must be something more special and we call them infima okay this is what infima means this is infima Okay, and this is infima only. Now, obviously, you guys have understood analogous to this one. Here, I have so many boundaries: 18, then 20, then 22. If you can, well, if you want, you can take here 24 and so on. So all are upper bounds. So among all those upper bounds, lowest is 18, and this 18 will be called least upper bound here I am getting maximum among the minimums and here I am getting minimum among the maximums again here I am getting greatest among the lowest here I am getting lowest among the greatest okay I should not say here that among the lowest or among the greatest I should not say this one it is obviously grammatically wrong, but uh, don't think that I don't know it is actually I'm saying. Okay, so we call it as supremum. Take a screenshot. I think this one is enough for understanding of what is infimum and what is supremum. And trust me, you if you understand the concept of supremum and infimum properly, then you will be excelled in so many other concepts that coming forward okay 
I'm not going to explicitly say about the theory of Supreme Mind film. This one was very introductory and intuitive video that try to make your intuition. Okay. I hope that you guys have understood this video. Try to share among your friends. Please subscribe the channel and if there is anything, a suggestion or a doubt, then please comment. And I have my Facebook link, uh, Facebook page link in the description below. Please follow them and work hard. Analysis is not that easy, but I shall try to make it easier for you. Okay. Thank you. Tata. Good night.